Hi guys, James Orr, founder of Decisive Trading. Today I want to talk to you about something that I found very difficult to get used to as I was learning to trade. I actually still find it quite difficult to this day. And I know that a lot of beginners, when I speak to them, this is one of the most difficult things that they have to overcome. And what it does is it kind of snowballs into struggling with this thing and then it becomes bad trading. So they let it lead on to taking poor trades and it ends up damaging their trading account. And what I'm talking about is dealing with downtime when you are trading. So with trading, it's really one of the only things that I can think of whereby you can sit down at your desk to start your working day and then you can have all this energy, all this expectation, you know, you're, you're ready to start your trading journey and there's nowhere to put this energy. And you can sit and you can stare at this chart all day and nothing is going to set up. So basically you finish your working day and you have done exactly nothing. And then what's even worse is that can lead into the next day and it can lead into the next day. And there's no way to tell when that is actually going to end. You just have to sit and wait until your edge, your particular edge in the market lines up so that you can execute your trading plan. Now, the problem is if you don't do that, if you start to force the trades, that's when the losses start to snowball and that's when you start to basically, if you've been making good progress, you start to go on the downward slope and you're back to square one. Um, the problem is when we're brought up, pretty much everything that we do, so as we go through school, if you think of yourself in school, if you'd spent an, spent an entire day in school just staring out the window, um, you know, doing nothing, you've, just, you've got your jotter sitting in front of you, your book sitting in front of you, and you're not doing anything, uh, the teacher's gonna come over to you and gonna say, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> do some work. And with other businesses, let's say you, um, I don't know, anything, any new job that you start, when you start that job, when you go into the office, you sit down, you want to work very hard. You want to take all your energy and you want to push it into the work that you're doing so that you can advance your career. Um, with trading, there's nowhere for that energy to go. We have to basically sit and wait until the market lines up for us so that we can then take a trade. And it's very, very difficult to get used to. Um, so what can you do to stop yourself from taking these poor trades? Well, the first thing is you just have to accept that with trading, um, it's a waiting game. It's, it's more like uh, an exercise in patience and discipline than it is about putting in you know, the blood, the sweat and the tears in order to achieve your goals. Um, you can also reframe it in your mind. See, the problem is you're sitting in front of this desk, sitting in front of this computer, you've got the charts sitting in front of you, and you're thinking to yourself, I really should be doing something here. I really should be working. Not understanding that you are actually working, you're just doing it in a different way than what you're used to. Um, you, you need to start to find things to, to occupy your time. You don't just want to be sitting, staring at a computer screen all day. If you do that, it's very likely it's gonna to lead to mistakes. As a trader, you only really need to take, depending on your trading plan, you know, maybe one trade per week on average, one really good solid setup per week. Maybe it's even one really good solid setup every two weeks, depending on your trading plan. You need to, you need to refresh that thought in your mind almost every day. When you're sitting down in front of the computer rather than thinking, okay, you know, it's a trading day, what I wanna do, I wanna find a really good trade, I wanna find a nice early trade, I wanna be finished, I wanna make my money, um, and then that'll be me done for the day. You need to sit down and think, okay, what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna sit and wait and see if today is the day that the market is going to line up perfectly in order for me to get in to the market in the safest way possible, you know, with the least amount of risk of me losing money, where it's basically pulling me in because it's such a strong setup. That's the only time that you want to look to trade. You need to tell yourself that every day when you sit down. What you also want to do is you want to realize how incredibly lucky you are. Think back to the times where you're sitting in an office, where you're working nine to five. So me personally, I came from a, a building background. You know, I used to go to work. I used to spend 12 hour days, 14 hour days, 16 hour days if I was really busy. And I used to come home and I would be physically exhausted, mentally drained. I didn't get to spend um, a lot of time relaxing. The whole time you're at work doing those sort of things, what's going through your mind? The things that are going through your mind are, I wish I didn't have to work such long hours. I wish I didn't have to work so hard. Now, when you are learning to trade, you need to try and remember those thoughts in your mind because 
you now have more free time and you don't need to sit um, and constantly work at the charts. You just need to sit with the charts open and you just need to wait. Maybe you only even need to set alarms at certain points on the chart. And it's only when those alarms go off that you need to start paying attention. So what can you do? You can do literally anything that you want to do. You can even go out of the house and have the alerts set on your phone. Have the alerts set, you know, if you're day trading, 10 points away from where you want to start looking. So it gives you enough time to get back to the house. You can start to learn things that you've always wanted to learn. If you want to learn a new language, you can sit and you can learn a new language. If you want to study for an open university course, I've already done this, you can sit and you can study for an open university course. The thing with trading is it has a lot of positive sides, but you need to be able to see the positive sides rather than framing it in your mind as a negative. So whereby you think, or you may be thinking, uh, I really need to do something. I really need to be achieving something right now. What you're, what you're doing is you're pushing that energy onto the charts. The charts do not care that you are sitting there. The markets don't even know that you exist. <laughs> they don't know that any of us exist. You know, we're just retail traders. All we're doing is we're waiting until we get those trading opportunities. And all other times, you can be doing whatever you want. Even if you just want to sit and watch TV, sit and play a computer game. For me personally, I know I couldn't do that because, um, well, I could do it for a little while, but I couldn't do that every day. Because then I would start to think, you know, I, I, really, am, I really am wasting the opportunity that I have to, to start to work at things and start to learn things. But things that I've mentioned, you know, you could be reading, reading up on new subjects, reading up on new trading methods that you want to learn about. You could be doing the Open University course. You could be learning a new language. You ever wanted to learn to play the guitar? Sit and play the guitar. Annoy all your neighbors throughout the day while you're just sitting jamming away on this guitar, sounding terrible, waiting for your trading setups. Um, if you can start to do that, if you can start to realize how positive and how good an opportunity you have by having all this free time, it makes it a lot easier to just sit, stay disciplined, and wait for your trading opportunities. And if you do that, it's gonna take away a lot of your mistakes. The mistakes, a lot of them come from frustration and impatience. Last week, for me personally, trading was very, very quiet. There was just nothing. There was a setup on Tuesday, all other days, even on the Friday. The Friday, I had something specific that I was looking for, and I was waiting for it all morning and it just didn't set up properly. It's very, very frustrating, but then all I need to do is I just need to sit back and think, okay, it didn't set up, so now what I need to do is I just need to go back to the other things that I was working on, um, start to put my energy into them, and just continue to wait for those setups to come, because I know that what's gonna happen is eventually there'll be a run of good trades. It happens every time. And what I used to do when I was learning to trade is I didn't really understand that that's how it works, so I would just, force trades. I'll be sitting there, I'll be thinking, okay, well this doesn't look perfect, but I've not had a trade for two days, so I'm just gonna take this one. And what happens, you take a loss. And then you've got to make that loss back at some point in the future, whereby if I just didn't take the trade, my account would still be flat. And then when the good trade came, it would press up, and I'd most likely make the profit. Okay guys, so hopefully that was helpful. Just a quick video. Um, I wanted to get it across because it's a, something that I see a lot of people struggling with, especially beginners. Just reframe what it is that you're doing in your mind. Understand that when you are trading, you have this opportunity to have all this free time and you can use it to do so many constructive things. You just don't want to push that energy onto the charts and end up um, having a negative impact on what it is that you're trying to do. Okay guys, so I hope you have all had a good trading week. I'm James Orr and thank you.